Six Sigma as a methodology for process improvement involves a vast library of tools and knowledge, which will be covered throughout this course on Six Sigma. In this section, we'll begin to define the statistical concept represented by Six Sigma. At the most basic definition, Six Sigma is a statistical representation of what many experts call a perfect process. Technically, in a Six Sigma process, there are only 3.4 defects per million opportunities. In percentages, that means 99.99966% of the products from a Six Sigma process are without defect. At just one Sigma level below, that is at 5 Sigma, or 99.97% accuracy, processes experience 233 errors per million opportunities. In simpler terms, there are going to be many more unsatisfied customers. Now let's look into some real-world example that would make it more clear. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, air traffic controllers in the United States handle 28,537 commercial flights daily. In a year, that is approximately 10.416 million flights. Based on a 5 Sigma air traffic control process, errors of some type occur in the process for handling approximately 2,426 flights every year. With a 6 Sigma process, that risk drops to 35.41 errors. The CDC reports that approximately 51.4 million surgeries are performed in the United States in a given year. Based on a 99.97 accuracy rate, doctors would make errors in 1,976 surgeries each year, or 230 surgeries a week. At 6 Sigma, that level of error drops to approximately 174 errors a year for the entire country, or just over 3 errors each week. At 5 Sigma, patients are 68 times more likely to experience an error at the hands of medical providers. While most people accept a 99.9% .9 accuracy rate in even the most critical services on a daily basis, the examples we just observed highlight how wide the gap between 6 Sigma and 5 Sigma really is. For organizations, it's not just about the error rate, it's also about the costs associated with each error. Consider an example based on Amazon shipments. On Cyber Monday in 2013, Amazon processed a whopping 36.8 million orders. Let's assume that each order error costs the company an average of $35, which is a very conservative number, considering that costs might include return shipping, labor to answer customer phone calls or emails, and labor and shipping to right a wrong order. As we can see over here, with 5 Sigma level of accuracy, for 36.8 million total orders there were 8,574.4 errors, and with an average cost of $35 per error, the total cost of errors would be $300,104.00. But considering the same 36.8 million total orders, if a 6 sigma level of accuracy was maintained then there would be 125.12 errors decreasing from this large amount of errors, and with an average cost of $35 per error, the total cost of errors would be just $4,379.20 for maintaining 6 sigma, which is so much less than those $300,104.00 of the cost of errors in a 5 sigma process. For this example, the cost difference in Sigma levels is still over $295,000 for the Cyber Monday business. For most organizations, Six Sigma processes are a constant target. Achieving and maintaining Six Sigma perfection is difficult and requires continuous process improvement. But even advancing from lower levels of Sigma to a 4 or 5 Sigma process has a drastic impact on costs and customer satisfaction. Now. Let's look at the Amazon Cyber Monday example at other levels of Sigma. From this table we can see that, at one Sigma level, there would be 690,000 errors per 1 million orders, so estimated Cyber Monday defects would be 25,392,000 and with an average cost of $35 per error, the total cost of errors would be $888,720,000. At two Sigma level, there would be 308,000 errors per 1 million orders, 
so estimated Cyber Monday defects would be 11,334,400 and with an average cost of $35 per error, the total cost of errors would be $396,704,000. At 3 Sigma level, there would be 66,800 errors per 1 million orders, so estimated Cyber Monday defects would be 2,458,240 and with an average cost of $35 per error, the total cost of errors would be $86,038,400. At 4 Sigma level, there would be 6,200 errors per 1 million orders, so estimated Cyber Monday defects would be 228,160 and with an average cost of $35 per error, the total cost of errors would be $7,985,600. We already discussed that at 5 Sigma level, with an average cost of $35 per error the total cost of errors would be $300,104. And at 6 Sigma level, with an average cost of $35 per error, the total cost of errors would be just $4,379. So, what we observed is that at very low levels of sigma, any process is unlikely to be profitable. The higher the sigma level, the better the bottom line is likely to be.